And okay, we're back. G Town. It's the 2018 2019 season. Stump lost about 135 pounds, and I got rid of the, the green hat. You're welcome, healer. <laughs> got to look at my gray hair, but hey, I upgraded. It's draft week, boys. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> it feels good to be back. Very good. Yeah, we're going to just give you a couple little things here today, guys. Um, we're going to start with, first off, Schwabi, congratulations. You are the cream of the crop, and uh, every year you're a real threat to win this thing. So we're going to get right into it. After saying congratulations, we're going to ask the question to start the 2018-2019 vlog season. Simply, are there better odds for the Schwab to repeat as champion or miss the playoffs altogether? Bold predictions on Schwabby. What do you got? Uh, I'm going to go straight statistical. This is off the top of my head. I believe in – this is is this year 11? What are we at, dude? It's been a while. Uh, year 10 or 11, I think Schwab has missed the playoffs one time, and he's won three titles. So I think the chances are better of him winning that freaking title again than they are missing the playoffs. That's funny, three to one, because in my head, I would actually – I had 30% chance he wins the title, 10% <laughs> chance he misses the playoffs. <laughs> there you I go. got there differently, but the same result. So, Schwabi, you're still the guy to beat. Yep. Next question, let's look at this. Who's walking into the draft next week with the best keeper situation? I'm going to start. That way you don't have to give yourself too much props. Kamara for, <laughs> Kamara for sevens, highway robbery. You for sure have the best situation. Although two guys that I think have an interesting situation could be really good. I love Jordan Howard for a zero. And I think Virgil with McKinnon for a zero. It's boom or bust. Yep. So I think they're, I think they're a tear down from you, but I think they're looking good. Yeah, I always when I'm doing my keeper, I'm always thinking of that surplus value. What – how much would this guy go for in a draft, and what am I yeah. keeping him for? So, Camara, I've probably got 50-ish dollars. I don't, well, that's another thing. We, we don't have to get into it too much right now. But I'm curious where the draft lies this year, because the first year we did it, the top guys went for, like, low 60s, and I think there was 165. And then the next year, it ballooned up to, like, 70 and 71, 72. And then I think it corrected last year, but I'm wondering if it overcorrected, because I think 60 might have been the top value. So I'm curious where the – because Gurley and Bell are off the table, so you got like Zeke Elliott, David Johnson. Got, there's a handful of still Antonio Brown, handful of studs out there. How much are they going to go for is going to be key. But Camara, roughly between 55 and low 60s maybe if it was a crazy year. So that's, that's providing, you know, around $50 surplus value. That's hard to beat right there. Yeah, I agree. Like so 12 with Gurley's maybe around 40 after the trades. He's keeping them for $31. Gurley would be the highest guy in there. He's 35. That's pretty nice. Um, honestly, Thielen for a dollar. That, that's – I don't know what he would go for this year, but – I was thinking I was thinking 30 bucks. 20, yeah, between 30. 25 and 35 dollars of value ended up being pretty solid. So, there, there's nobody with a terrible situation. Gentry with Melvin Gordon for seven is very oh, nice. Melvin – I thought it was Josh Gordon. I actually really love that then. Yeah, that's that's right there. I, I have Kamara rated a little bit higher, but – He's a top 10 back, and he would go for 50-plus. So he, he, honestly, I think Gentry might have the number two best situation. Yep. Okay, that changes my rankings. Yeah, I think Gentry's <laughs> number two. Who's got the worst situation? To me, this was easy. <laughs> it's the same every year. <laughs> Actually, usually my situation has really sucked. But Big Daddy, Deion Lewis, who I actually – I think he'll be a solid play, but he's a, I don't know, 5 to $10 guy in a draft, maybe 12 so not a ton of surplus congrats either. big daddy you saved eight dollars <laughs> hey but it was gonna be that or keeping Aaron Rodgers for 41 so he'd have yeah. a negative surplus if he did that um, yeah all right so moving right along let's make some bold predictions about the league this year I by the way let me just say what's been really challenging is as I've got into fantasy research I've got a sister's league I've got a Gresham league I've got no one to talk to about what I'm thinking. So I, I've got a new friend out of this. Jim Gurney and I have been like, I'm like, you're not my, any of my leagues. You care about fantasy football. So we've like lit up this friendship on who do you like out of these three guys. Yes. So I say that to say, um, in response to this uh, vlog, if you have ideas on how to build that community outside of the network, give me ideas because it's, it's challenging. 
Well, let me say this. I've got two guys that were uh, – one's still at GBC. One has moved on from GBC. But we get together at least once a year. We call ourselves the Fantasy Inklings. We get together, we have a burger, and we're all in different leagues with no overlap. And so we can share all of our secrets, our favorites, our sleepers. And that's uh, been a lot of fun because fantasy, like usually you're doing it with your best buddies. And that's the people I want to have these conversations with about who I love. I can't talk with a Schwab about it or you or Wood or anybody like that. So yeah, that's, cool. that's what makes draft day so beautiful because we're there's going to be a ton of overlap, but we're all going to have that one or two guys that no one else loved, but we did. Yeah, it all that, comes that's, out. That's fun. Yep. Agreed. So look, we don't get to make bold predictions about players but we do get to make bold predictions about GMs. So let's talk rapid fire. What are some bold predictions for our league GM wise? I'm going to go first here. And my bold prediction, I feel it's pretty bold. If we're talking about 10 or 11 years, this has happened zero times. And I'm predicting it's going to happen this year. Gentry is going to make the playoffs, especially because it's not Josh Gordon. It's Melvin Gordon for seven. <laughs> Put it on the board. Gentry's in the playoffs. <laughs> this is hard to do without seeing the drafts. Uh, I don't know if this is a bold prediction or not. I'm going to say the three guys who haven't won the title, Paul, Gentry, Virgil, none of them make the playoffs. There will be only guys that have won titles that will make the playoffs this year. That's amazing. That's a huge, huge prediction. Any other, any other things you want to say about our league before draft day? Anything to mentally be preparing for? What's on the menu? What time do we get there? Walk us yeah. through the strategy. Yeah, good stuff. So um, we'll have a bunch of breakfast meats. I'll cook up a bunch of bacon sausage. We'll have some potatoes, some eggs, maybe something sweet thrown in there. I'll make sure Ange has some cold brew coffee ready for the coffee drinkers. And um, I don't know if people want juice these days or not, but we'll have, we'll have a bunch of goodies like that. Uh, the doors will open at 9. The Beebs will be on taking care of the other Ohio to the other OSU. Um, and we'll have that in the background. We'll try to draft by 10, come hang out, get some food. If we're ready to go at 9.30, 9.45, we'll just kick her off then. Um, bring five, five bucks if you don't mind shipping in for the food, and we'll be ready to roll. In I think stomp, we'll have nine, nine of us there. Stump just came into the 21st century a half hour ago. He is on Cash App. Cash up. So it's the hashtag, it's the money, it's the money sign, Stizzly. So money sign, Stizzly on Cash App. Send your five bucks over. Send him six. You know, bless this guy. I mean, come <laughs> on. Cooking breakfast meats, he's doing cold brew. Let's not go, we don't want this, our commission going in, into the hole on this, okay? So G Town, it's going to be great. No surprise, I'm, I'm going to be there live this year. There's no dramatic entry, no, no big surprises. This is your meat and potato kind of draft which is a, a beautiful thing. That's all we need. Yeah, we, we thought about pulling another surprise, but you just can't run that sucker back and have it be as good the, the second time as it was the first. So no. we got some good things in store, though. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, That's it'll be good. good. It'll be good. So, guys, um, let us know if you need anything. If not, we'll see you Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Get her done. Let's go.